To some, it is the national symbol of Myanmar. To others, it's simply a practical cosmetic product. If you have ever been to Myanmar, you will instantly recognize this pale yellow face mask known as the Naka that is as ubiquitous as the Longji and more popular than freshly printed US dollar bills. The Naka can be seen everywhere, in rural areas and in cities, and worn by both young and old. It's a beauty product, a medicine, and a form of art. You'll mainly find the Naka sold in markets and at tourist destinations. It's mostly made to order, or you can buy tiny chunks of tree to take home. It's also worth noting that the Naka is big business. The Naka has gotten so popular here in Myanmar that there's a need now for it to be produced commercially. We're here at Dothi Wholesalers to find out more about that process. The owner's granddaughter Mimi is the current face of the brand. She shows me that there are a lot of different types of tanaka. So this one is like the tanaka that is dried and put to shape. So like this is like very convenient so you can carry this around. So you see like this one, the white one here, mm -hmm. this is tanaka and this is like the medicine, the brown one. And this one you can like use it with other products as well, mm -hmm. like when you wear makeup. All right, uh, what about that one? This one, yeah. this one is uh, for your face. This one is for acne and the blemishes, and this also gives better sun protection. So this is like the tiny piece of uh, dried mm -hmm. tanaka. So you can just put it in your hand, and you can put water on it. Oh. And so you, you don't need use a stone. It. Yeah, you don't need a stone for this. Next, I travel to the tiny village of Gansai Gong, three hours drive from Mandalay. This area is known for having some of the best soil for growing trees that the Naka is made from. The Naka is grown on plantations like this one. They're grown quite close together so farmers can make as much money as possible. The tree takes about 15 years to mature and sell for about $150. The Naka's primary function is to serve as a form of sunscreen, and because most people here work on farms or are outside collecting cheroot orders, almost everyone is wearing it. <laughs> Having talked so much about this stuff, it was about time I tried it for myself. A hot day like this is perfect for trying on tanaka. Traditionally, how it's made, you have a stone slab, you pour a little bit of water on it, and you rub the tanaka bark on until it forms a yellow paste, and then you put it on your cheeks. Wearing the paste kind of feels like putting very watery paint on your skin. It doesn't feel woody or gritty, and once it dries, you can't feel it at all. The Naka contains marmosin, a compound found to absorb over half of the UV ray spectrum, making it a kind of sunblock. But it's also considered a beauty product. But unfortunately, as Myanmar modernizes, some are turning to Western makeup for their beauty needs, and it is hardly ever seen on Myanmar TV. It seems that there is a conflict in beauty standards and I'm about to find that this is a rising concern for many in Myanmar. 
In larger cities, especially those with an international working environment, some are foregoing tanaka at the workplace for Western makeup. I meet with Mamiet No Aung. She works at a large technology firm and doesn't wear tanaka regularly. Uh, usually, I don't wear the neck unless I have to go to a specific occasion which requires me to wear the neck. And what about uh, the other people who work here? Uh, would it be inappropriate for them to wear the neck in a workplace? We, we tend not to stop them from wearing the neck, but if it's a special occasion, like for example, if we have some kind of event or if they have to go to other companies, then we ask, we ask them not to wear the neck uh, so that we seem as like as a modern company rather than a traditional company. And she's not the only one. Back at Dorothy, Mimi also expresses concern. Like young people, like don't really wear like the naka. Young people around maybe 18 to 20 something, 28, 29. Well, that's because of, to be honest, it's the large influence from like the other social medias and other countries as well. So they like profile wearing makeup and stuff. But not all young people are turning away from Tanaka. I meet with a young dance troupe that are dedicated to preserving Myanmar culture. Despite these fears, these young girls recognize the importance of their tradition. While the people I've spoken to believe that the Naka could be disappearing, nobody actually wants to see it gone. And it's not just Myanmar women, other groups are also interested in the Naka. So I went to talk to some men to see what they think about the Naka. While they don't like wearing it themselves, in this traditionally patriarchal society, they do like it when the women dab on a spot or two. And there are other reasons for hope on the horizon. At this temple, the Naka has become a tourist attraction. So how does that feel? Um, nice. Yeah. Uh, like a moisturizer. Can you see what's on your face? <laughs> I mean, I saw in the mirror. It's a leaf. Yeah, it's pretty. While it may not be going international anytime soon, at least the locals still love getting involved. So I just learned that sometimes people come to the temple and they don't have the naka on, so they pay someone to put it on for them so they can look good for their selfies. So the naka is still being worn, but Western makeup is becoming increasingly popular. And while you're unlikely to see an army of the naka adorned office workers, at least for now, it is still part of the culture. Coconuts TV.